Hey you guys, SK the Homesteader here with an update. All right, you guys, so I brought you guys a video on how the deers are um, eating up pretty much everything right now. And I just was hit with another attack with them. But as of right now, it seemed like a lot of my green bean seeds are trying to bounce back. So there's some hope in here with some of them. Some I'm probably going to have to reseed in, in some of these spots. But right now, it's looking like some hope. Some of them are bouncing back. And that's a good thing. So, and I did tell y'all about the rose bushes, which I am devastated about my rose bushes. Because I was getting ready to prepare to bring you guys a tour on how everything was doing out here. And the deers attacked the squash patch you guys so i had to act quick i used some of my shade cloth in here to cover up and these are the only four that i had i had two left after using the other two on that trellis area right there and um i came out the other day and they have just went totally crazy i was able to um salvage these which they are looking so beautiful and um don't forget you guys those edible flowers okay i'm gonna try to link that video because i did a video on the edible flowers and how to um fry them up zucchini fritters don't forget about those you guys these are considered a delicacy in different countries and when i tell y'all these things are delicious when you fry these bad boys up okay so don't forget about your edible zucchini flowers and again i will search for that um video and link it and um my um video box but okay you guys so this is what the deers did they literally got to three and a half of my beds this bed over here they wasn't able to get to the whole thing because of this trellis that i did probably about three years ago when i was growing some cucumbers in this area and as you can see they went they really went ham so um i'm going to keep an eye on this area i do not have any more shade cloth so i'm trying to think of other things that i can do i can probably use um i have a nice roll of bird netting that i can probably yeah i can run across here or i'm thinking about cutting some more fencing taking those down and bring those over here so i may get to that today because i still have a roll of some fencing that i can block those two entrances and keep the deers from coming in and eating up my cukes so this is what they did now when i came out the other day they were actually no leaves on here. So it looks like these are trying to bounce back as well. Um, because there were no leaves. They just came in here and just uh, got real scissor happy with their teeth. So um, if they don't come back, I will reseed again. And... Um, Cover them up with some with some netting because I know I don't have enough fencing to go around this whole um, squash patch. So this one, yeah, look, they even something is even eating the squash. You guys, look, something has been gnawing, and I and I hate that because I was just telling you guys that I have never had a problem over here in my squash patch. I always have wonderful harvest. I've never seen a, an attack on my squash patch since i've been growing and this is somewhat disheartening but again here we go with some seedlings that are just now coming in in this area and um like i said i will just reseed if they don't bounce back it's probably best to reseed anyway because you know squashes likely to get that disease and those um uh those um 
what they call it, the squash worm and all that, you know, the critters, the critters that get on our nerves with the squash. So this is what they have done, you guys. Yeah, not a pretty sight. I always look forward to seeing everything come alive in this area. It's usually so beautiful. And um, the trellis area is taking off really nice. But um, again, they did get to that, but I'm seeing them bounce back. The, the kooks that's in there, my butternut squash and my cucumbers, I am noticing that those are bouncing back, which is good. So the net is helping, but um, I'm probably going to get on that fence and stop procrastinating so that I can get these covered. But I've been so busy, you guys, with other um, projects around um, my house. I have a lot of home improvement things that's going on right now. So um, I've been super, super busy along with work so um this is what it's looking like and this is from the other end and for, i don't know for some reason they didn't attack from this end because they could have came in from this end and attacked this area but they didn't so i'm gonna have to probably figure out something to do in this area as well um I'll figure it out, you guys, though. But for some reason, they didn't come around here and start gnawing over here. They just went on that end over here, which is strange. So, all right, you guys, this is what it's looking like on the homestead right now. I definitely have to get to that video, a tour video for you guys, so you guys can see everything growing and things of that nature. I will do my best to try to get to that. But like I said, I'm super busy with home improvements all around my home right now and let's go in here I can give you guys a little peek so you can see that in the um inside the trellis area where I had to use the shade cloth to keep the deers out that has helped so y'all know what this was looking like um last week a few days ago so the buckets are bouncing back which is good okay yeah they're bouncing back you guys so that's a that's a good sign so um again i'm gonna work on this fencing for these two areas right here for the trellis and then i'll use the shade cloth to cover up as much as possible and i think i placed i, I think i yeah i did uh, place an order for more shade cloths um because my shade cloths i usually use those in the trellis area on the outsides for the cucumbers and the um tomatoes so I need to re-up on these um, shade cloths. So all right, you guys, just a little update on the squash patch. And I hope everyone is doing well. And um, make sure you continue to prep, do the best you can, grow as, as much food as you possibly can. And please stay safe, you guys. I don't even want to talk about what's happening around the world. Um, please stay safe, please. People are acting crazy. People are gonna start getting desperate and um, things of that nature. So, all right, you guys, this is SEK. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Okay, you guys, I am back. All right, so I decided to go ahead and do this fencing um, for the trellis areas to keep the deers, the rodents out, um, being that it's a nice, cool day, cloudy day. And we've been having extreme heat um, these last, um, actually this last week, extremely, extremely hot. So, um, you guys, I'm not sure what this um, size gauge, this fencing is, but I have used this all around my fence, um, all around my garden and, my, and um, my left and right raised bed area to protect. So, um, I had a lot of leftover of this, so I just came over on both ends and um, rigged it up, you guys. And as you can see, I did get the um, shade cloths down. I wasn't able to completely cover this middle raised bed, being that it is um, laying um, vertically and not horizontally like the others. So um, I'm gonna wait on my shade cloth, but right now this is trial and error when it comes to this fencing. We're gonna hope, cause we all know We're gonna hope that, sorry you guys, um, the deers do not jump this fence because this area is so narrow up 
you know. So we're gonna hope they don't do that. But that's this is what it's looking like. And I will walk around so you guys can see the outside because I just rigged it. It was nothing professional. And on this end as well, I rigged it so that I can continue to come in here and um, harvest and check up on everything. So what I did was just cut my ends off and use those as a latch. Real simple, you guys. And that's how it's gonna have to be for right now because I don't have um, the finances to do anything professional right now. So we we just make do with what we have. Um, sorry about that. You guys are trying to close that in so that I can get to the other side so you guys can see. So I'm not actually going to latch it all the way down. I'm just gonna latch it right there. And then I'll put one little latch at the bottom to keep anything from trying to get in that area right there. But as you can see, this is what I did all the way down. I just ran it straight across, you guys. Nothing, um, no, no kind of uh, professionalism over here. So I'll walk around so you guys can see how I just used the shade cloth and used some rocks on each end to kind of hold it down. <sighs> Real simple, you guys. Just do the best you can. Shoot. If you got a sheet, put a on sheet over it. But um, hopefully this will buy me some time. I'll come back in a few days, check on the squash to see if, uh, um, if they're trying to produce. Hopefully the photosynthesis hasn't completely stopped. And they will bounce back. So over here, again, I just ran the fencing from one side to the other. So what I'll do is just use the front area to come in and go out of, and I will leave this somewhat permanently. So again, just cut. You can use their little um, ends as a latch, and that's exactly what I did. So this side looks really neat. And again, we're gonna, this is test and trial. We're gonna see how this work and hopefully they won't be trying to jump because the area the area is narrow it's all right you guys y'all wish me luck on that um i'm sure this will buy me some time for right now and then in a few days like i said before i will come back and check the buckets to make sure i didn't see any um snapping off of the leaves but right now everything is trying to bounce back all right you guys again I hope everyone is doing well. SEK the Homesteader. We'll see you guys on the next video. Continue to be safe. Peace.